Um, and things. So, and, and I used to do this a lot of mooka and tipple because I can lose myself in it. And it always, it always looks really, when you've done it, it looks awesome, but it doesn't start out like this. And I'm actually doing a bigger piece at the moment because I can oh, just Oh, wow. Lefty. So it's a lefty one. Uh -huh. um, and I thought, well, if I showed you this, because this is the left hand um, I takes my time to do the the I do the mooka first of all but then I go back and when I start doing the orbs then I can ink in and then I can start changing the shape of the mooka and tidying them up because I've got a little bit more control to do it so when people keep saying to me oh I can't do left hand drawing well you know mine starts off wibbly wobbly I mean it probably doesn't look it from there I've got so much more control now but I change the shapes of what the, the Mooka heads look like um, and things. So uh -huh. I didn't know whether you wanted to just have, just grab something, even if you wanted to grab a piece of paper. In fact, I'm going to do it on the back of this, um, I'm going to do it on the back of this, uh, whatever this is, phyto that I've got here. And I'm going to use, I'm going to do it lefty. Okay, so that, so that we can start seeing. Because it's a really nice way of, filling a tile and then with this one uh, there's no shading on it the only the color was all um ink tents but i've used dark purple in here with a pink and you only need a little bit because it, it's they are really quite um powerful colors so if i'm doing mooka i will just start and mooka are quite difficult for me being a left doing it so non-dominant hand and I then I have trouble with my dominant hand <laughs> well but they're the, they're a tangle that it, the more you do it the more it it sort of happens um, mm -hmm. and I think I it's about, it let, about letting go uh, and things so even if you just do one of these at a time one mooka arm don't worry about getting that mooka ball on the top perfect because I'm going to show you how we can change it. I just sort of get the general, oh, somebody's phone's ringing. And then I'll go, well, I'm going to add, I'm going to go off from this one. So I turn it round. I'm going to. What I found most difficult with non dominant hand is to, to allow a bit more of a flow because. I've actually, to be able to control my pen, I've got to have a bit of pressure on the paper. Um, so, and I, I know everybody keeps saying, oh, you'll be ambidextrous, I won't. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. um, but I, I, it, it is a difficult to do um, dominant hand for a lot of time. Now, I tend to, okay, so I'm just gonna do, I'm going to do another one and I'm going to do it coming out of here. So I don't tend to, I don't have a plan when I'm doing this. I don't sort of think, oh, that's the way this is going to go. And in fact, I'm going to take this up here. I'd like to bump them in if I can. You can see I'm not worrying about them being perfect or anything like that. Around this way. like to film in and when when I was learning Mooka trying to get the flow of it I just feel pages and pages of uh, with this okay so that, that's some of them okay and then um have I got a thicker pen no I haven't so I might not do this so if I just say let, let's take these because that's a pretty rubbishy looking um Mooka top because it's got all wobbly edges and things and it's gone straight up there but I don't worry about it because then I'll come in here with orbs and I like to make them big so they bump into the edges. Like so. Okay, I'll probably do some small ones here. Don't go too tiny and ink in. I'm going to do an orb in here. Okay, so I've still got a wobbly sort of mooka head there on top of my nuka and then I'll say if you look at those they they've got this sort of um 
I sort of smooth it around. So where I've just come to a stop here, I will take my pen up, round, and I bring it round like so. Because you've got the inking around your orbs, you can sort of smooth uh -huh. that off. <clears throat> and then you can ink this in, and you just change the way that they look. And so that I, I really like doing more like this. I mean, just because I, I lose myself in them. Um, and it's the combination of drawing lots of orbs and then uh, gradually filling, inking in. The big piece that I've showed you has been the last three evenings, just sitting, if, once I've had my supper, sitting, having with the TV on, or I might have a film on that I can watch or uh, my audio book on. And so I've still got a rough edge, I've still got a sort of too blunt edge coming in here. So if I pop an orb into there, oh, see, even the orbs go a bit wibbly wobbly, and like so. And then you can smooth that off because you're using that, instead of using an eraser, you're using your ink to alter what you've created um, and just tidy it up. And you can do this with all sorts of tangles, you know. Um, and it's literally just mucha and orbs. And I mean, I've done it in all sorts of different ways, but um, so that's that one. If I, this one now looks a bit funny because it looks just a bit like weird shape. So I would go from that point, I'll get my hand in the right place now, go up, bring it round and it's almost back on itself and then turn around. Does that make sense? You can smooth that off. So and then you get that lovely, more like a teardrop end. So, um, for a change. So that's what I do with those. And, uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you. Get. You know, I'd probably put another mooka bit up here, and I might do something here. I'll show you when I finished it. And then, and then you can just have real fun with shading. You know, it'd be fun to do it just in your black and white shading. Um, but yeah, I cracked open the ink tents and. And that's quite nice because you don't have to, I've got a little water brush it's downstairs at the moment. Um, so I put dark blue, I used about three blues on here and just really tried to water it out to keep it dark so it had the darker, the darker edge here. So it gave it that depth and things. So yeah, there we are. So watch this space, there'll be more mookering going on because I haven't done it for a while and I thought I started doing this just as a, I'll just do it. Um, and hopefully this evening I'll manage to finish doing the this. And this is only on uh, cartridge paper. So it's a heavyweight, it's a, a hundred pound. So 220 GSM um, cartridge paper, but it's quite nice to, to do. Um, so filling in those. And it's one of those where you, it's the middle of the night and <laughs> in the evening and then you think oh I'm yawning and you find that three hours has gone past so <laughs> <laughs> and it's no wonder you're yawning so there we are guys so thank you very much I'm gonna thank you